This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I get Sculptures Pro Tessimation to not be linked to draw size? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up, and I just have the Polysphere project here loaded in. And the question is asking about using Sculptures Pro and how to get the Tessimation feature to not be linked to the brush draw size. So as an example of this, I just have the standard brush selected, and let's go up here to the top and activate Sculptress Pro. So if I come across this icon here and click, I've now activated Sculptress Pro inside of ZBrush. And then I'm gonna navigate over here to the polyframes button here, turn that on, and then I'm gonna turn off fill. So now I just see the model with polyframes and I don't have the polygrouping color visible. So with Sculptress Pro active and the standard brush selected, if I come across the surface of the model here and click and drag to sculpt on the mesh, you'll see that the stroke is automatically getting this tessimation effect happening. And this will happen anywhere on the model. So if I come over here and click and drag, you'll see as I sculpt, the mesh is going to automatically receive this tessimation and it's gonna give me enough density in that area to support that sculptural mark. Now by default, the amount of tessimation you're going to receive on your mesh is gonna be controlled by the draw size slider up here. So if I have a draw size of 64, I'm gonna receive about this much of that tessimation effect. Now if I change my brush size to something smaller and then come over here and sculpt on the model, you're gonna see if the draw size is smaller, I'm gonna receive more tessimation. So the draw size is currently determining how much tessimation you're going to receive. So larger draw size is gonna receive less tessimation, and then smaller draw size is gonna receive more tessimation. So the question is asking if there is a way to disable the linking to the draw size for this tessimation. So let's say I wanna sculpt with a large stroke and a small stroke, but I want the tessimation to be the same. So for the small one here, I want the same amount of tessimation applied that was being applied to this larger stroke over here. So to do this, we just need to navigate up here to our stroke palette. And I'm just gonna click this little button here to dock to the side. And in the stroke palette here, we need to come to the Sculptures Pro area. And in here, there is a button called Adaptive Size. Now the Adaptive Size option here is going to be enabled by default. And what this is going to do, it's going to link the tessimation to that draw size. So if this is turned on, your draw size is going to determine how much tessimation that you receive on the mesh. So if I disable this, this is now going to break that link. So let me undo here back to my original sphere. And let's change my draw size to that 64 again. And then let's go back to the stroke pedal over here and let's just modify this subdivide size as well. So I'm just gonna take this and put it to say 0.5. And then I'm gonna keep the undivide ratio at 1.25. So Sculptures Pro has a tessimation effect, and what this is, it is tessellation and decimation together. So the subdivide size is gonna determine the tessellation value, and the undivide ratio here is going to determine the decimation value. So as you perform a sculpture mark on your model, it's going to use these two sliders to determine how much density is added to the mesh. So with a subdivide size of 0.5 and my draw size at 64, if I come across the surface of the mesh here and click and drag, you can see I'm getting something like this. And then let's change my draw size down to say 20. And now come across the model and click and drag. You'll see I'm now getting a smaller stroke and I'm getting the same amount of tessimation. So you can change to say a larger draw size and as I click and drag, I'm getting that larger stroke but the same amount of tessimation is happening. So to disable the draw size from the tessimation with Sculptures Pro, you just need to navigate to the stroke palette, go to the Sculptures Pro area, and then disable adaptive size. Now, since the tessimation is no longer being controlled by this draw size, you now need to just modify these sliders here to control how much tessellation is gonna be applied to your mesh as you sculpt on the surface. So if I change this down to say 0.25, and now come across and sculpt. You can see I'm gonna get more density now, and then I can go to that smaller draw size and sculpt again. I'm gonna get the same density across those two strokes. So if you have this adaptive size slider turned off, these two sliders here are now gonna control how much tessimation the mesh will receive as you sculpt on the model. So one final note is that this adaptive size option that lives in the stroke palette over here will always be enabled by default. 
However, you can save out custom Sculptress Pro options per brush. So as an example of this, let's say with the standard brush here, I never want that adaptive size option on. So with the standard brush selected, I can navigate up to the brush palette here. I can go to the Sculptress Pro area. In here, I can turn off Use Global, which is going to look at that option in the stroke palette. Then I can also disable this adaptive size, and then I can set a custom subdivide size and also a custom undivide ratio. And after I have these settings set, I can now come back to the top and then save this brush out as a custom brush. So I can override the current standard brush or just save a new custom brush. And then the next time I load this brush in, that brush is going to remember not to use the global values for Sculptress Pro. And it will also remember that the adaptive size option is turned off, which is going to disconnect the draw size from that tessimation. And I'll use these sliders here to control the amount of tessimation that's applied to the mesh when I use that brush. So that is the quick rundown on how you can disconnect the draw size from the amount of tessimation that your mesh will receive with Sculptress Pro Active. If you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing!